you obviously grew up in the state and know this rivalry well. How much, how excited are you to finally have an opportunity to really make your mark on this game? I mean, I'm really excited. You know, um, it's a big game. It's the biggest stage in college football. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be close to 115,000 people there. You know, it's the 8 o'clock game, college game day. And uh, this is what every quarterback dreams of, you know, on a big stage and being able to perform like this. And I can remember uh, when I was a recruit coming to watch Notre Dame game. Maybe. I'm pretty sure you guys remember that. And that was a big game. So it's always a good, close, hard-fought game. And, you know, each team of is going to give it their own. Because you, uh, honestly, when you looked at Ohio State, and you, you looked at Notre Dame, too, in your recruiting process. So did you ever consider yourself being on the other side of this rivalry? I mean, they were my second offer. You know, I, I can't remember ever. I only visited there one time. You know, I went to a camp. Got an opportunity to meet Charlie Weiss. That was nice for me, you know, as a young guy. A guy with Super Bowl rings and things like that. But, you know, I'm a Michigan man, so. You talked about the third down, but there were a couple you didn't convert, but Brady, Brady, you know, went for it on fourth down. How much fun is that as a quarterback, that, that one bootleg you had, to, to know that your coaches have the confidence in you guys to, to go for it in those situations? I mean, definitely. They've seen how, how hard we've worked over the summer, you know, and, and you know, seven on seven, things like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if you let us pass the ball on fourth down, you know. And that, that bootleg was actually a pass, but I just saw the first down, saw it ran and got it. But um, Desmond talked to us a year ago about how the summer, you know, they, they see everything we do, and they see how hard we work, and, and that's how you build the trust in the season. So I feel like our, our summer hard work and winter is what um, helped help to have the confidence to go for it on first down in Vancouver. Um, I think your first game as a freshman uh, that you got in was Bowling Green. Does that sound about right? Uh, no, you got Okay. But you had some experience when I was Bowling Green was one that you, I think, had 10 pass attempts or something times like that. Can you? Talk about what Shane Morris, now that he has, what that first game that, that long experience will do for you and will do for him in case he has to go in at some point? I mean, the biggest thing was for him to be able to get his feet wet, you know, and just be on that stage. We got a chance to watch the film and, you know, see all the small things, small details that could, that could hurt us. You know, he, those are things that he's, he's been made aware of and he's you know, developed. And he's going to get better from it, I'm sure, because he's the ultimate competitor. He, he wants to be a great quarterback. Devin, I'm just curious, how much do players respond to bulletin board material? I mean, I, I personally don't, but some guys, you know, get some fired up. I'm, I love football, and I love to compete, so I'm going to be fired up regardless. You know, it doesn't take anyone saying anything bad about our team or anything like that to get me fired up. I'm ready to play at all times. So, But, you know, sometimes the bulletin board material is a little extra for others. You know, they get a chance to, you know, get a little – a little extra fire. How do you, how do you think uh, Derek Green ran on Saturday? He's number two on the depth chart. Uh, what has he done to, to kind of put himself in a position to be the second guy in the place? I think he ran well, just like the rest of our running back. I think everybody, everybody touched the ball last Saturday. You know, they ran well, and uh, he's worked hard. You know, hard work pays off. I'm a firm believer in that, and uh, he's done that, and, and, the, and the coaches feel like. He, he, he needs the opportunity to be the number two back, so that's, that's what's going to happen. Devin, um, where does the Michigan Nerdy Rivalry fit in as far as the National College Football goes? Why is it an important rivalry? I mean, I feel like it's one of the biggest rivalries in college football, or else game day wouldn't be there. You know, it wouldn't be such a national televised game. So, I mean, it fits right up there at the top. You've known Cam for probably longer than anybody on this team. You guys were high school teammates together. How excited for, were you for him? Saturday to kind of have a breakout performance with a couple sacks and some tackles for loss. I mean, it was great for me because he worked so hard on pass rush, you know, this offseason. You know, I've seen him working so hard, and he, um, he's my roommate. So, you know, he gets to talk to me about, you know, how, how it, was, it was hard for him. And he finally got a chance to get his feet wet. And, and two sacks in the game is pretty good. You know, I don't play defense or anything. But if I get sacked inside of the same guy, that's a good day for him. So, uh, I was very happy for him. Pretty evenly split between shotgun and under center view. Uh-huh. Uh, how does the comfort level differ from, from each one? Do you like passing out one more, running under center, better view? I mean, it, it's whatever they call it. I'm pretty comfortable with either. You know, play action pass opens up downfield throws a little more, and dropping back, I just have to read the defense like the quarterback should.